quite a small video everyone. I haven't got a clue what the date is. I haven't got a clue what the date is. But anyway, I've cycled from Western Supermare over to Uphill, past Uphill, over to towards Bleeden now. I've just spotted a heron in the field, look. A tall heron, see him? Looking for worms. He's my first visitor of the day of this cycle. First heron of the day. Anyway, I don't really know how far I'm going. I'm just going to see how I feel. I've got to go up a hill, up Bleeding Hill. I've got to push the bike up that. Uh, burnt all over there, look. Be seeing a lot of that. Here's the uh, croquet club at Bleeding here. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I walked to Crook's Peak and I did the Roman Road, which is up, up there, on the top there. I walked along there going past those houses and branched off up the Roman Road actually. Um, so this is just a very quick video of me on the bike. It's, eight, it's May, but I can't remember the date. I really can't remember what date it is. Time has become irrelevant, so I don't even know what the date is. <laughs> I know it ain't the 13th. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've decided to go for a cycle while the weather isn't too bad. Um, it's been very cold lately and too windy for me to take the bike out. But today's weather seems more appropriate. There is a bit of a breeze, which is nice to have a bit of a breeze, actually. Um, and it will drop. I think it's um, going to be up and down, but it's not really going to go above 13, I think. Possibly 14, but most of the time it's going to be about 9. Um, I've looked at the forecast for the rest of the week. It does look breezier. Uh, not, nest, not, ne not really high temperatures. Um, nothing massive, although you obviously get, depends what you're doing. Like I said, I walked along here the other week as well on the way back from Crook's Peak. I walked along here. The idea today, not to go to Glastonbury, but there's a Glastonbury canal not far from Birtle that I've been on. It's a bird sanctuary. It's, it's going to be a couple little hills I've got to do, but most of it will be flat. There'll be a hill on the way back at Bleeden. There's going to be a hill on the way out at Bleeden. Bleeden Hill, they call it. <laughs> so, I thought I'd do an introductory video. At the start of the video, it's probably going on for 12 o'clock. Might not be, might be 22. I haven't got the... I've packed the, the uh, watch away at the moment. <sighs> because I'm cycling, it takes up too much room in my pocket. The camera's bad enough holding on cycling and videoing. It's not easy. You can get them on your hat, I know. I might get one one day, but if you want a good one, they cost about £400. I'd rather get another Sony. Yeah, I'd rather buy another Sony camera. An upgrade from this one. With that money. Because this one cost me 350 <laughs> I might sound a bit wheezy here and there, because um, it is pollen time. It is hay fever time. So it doesn't mean I'm going down with the coronavirus. It's just normal spring hay fever. <coughs> and now come to the... I'll just get off for this bit. 
I've just come to Bleeden Village Community Hall here. They're still locked down, but they've eased up a bit. They want you can do as much exercise as you can, and I know what the reason for that is. They found a lot of cases. <laughs> they call it this, the blood clot storm. People in lockdown aren't moving about as much as they should do. So their kidneys and lungs will suffer as a result. They will become sluggish. And with something, this is a report I've read, a proper report, that blood clots, small blood clots, micro blood clots they are, are forming in the tubules of the kidney and the alveoli of the lung when they've um, done post-mortems on COVID-19 people, they have found us. So the new instructions are for people to exercise as much as possible. And I reckon that's the reason. I was a nurse. I can remember all the treatments for blood thinning and all that sort of thing. I took an aspirin this morning. I take one once a month anyway. So basically, there is a lockdown still, but it's not as severe. It is supposed to be. Because what will happen, we get a second wave. Anyway, I'm at bleeding. There's somebody come in. I'm going to turn off now. I'll come back on later. Right, everyone. I'm just going to... I've climbed up Bleeding Hill. There's Bleeding Village sign. I've pushed the bike up Bleeding Hill. There's Brent Nola. Some lovely trees here. Beautiful trees. Oh, there's seeds out. Lovely little avenue as well here. I'm going to cycle down it gently now. Here we go. Let me just make sure i got it on. Yeah, I have. So this is Sheila on the bike. There are various ways to get up onto the Roman road. Various tracks you can follow if you go across country from Bleeden. I've done them all, by the way, one way or another. I've done them all. There's various styles, skates. Um, this is quite a climb on the way back when you come this way. You can see I'm going downhill now. <coughs> it's quite a climb and it's quite dangerous further down because it's um, very windy, narrow, and there's nowhere to get out the way. That's no, so I'm just past somebody. Morning! I haven't got you on the video, it's all right. So somebody coming up the hill, very brave, look. You've got to get in the right gear when you're coming up. Um, like I said, some, uh, I'll be doing that later, <laughs> coming back up. Uh, I'll just stop a minute here just to get the views in. So there's quite a, a nice view. Let's see across there. And I've been up on all those hills, don't forget. And there's the orchards through there. And there's the, a pathway that goes up past the, um, the hill farm on the top there. It's pretty, very pretty here. I'm just going to stop and take a photo. Actually. Right, back on everyone. I'm going to try and do a little bit of videoing going downhill. It's not easy with your, just one hand on the handlebars. And it's a very steep hill. I'll see how I go. I will not be whizzing down it for obvious reasons. I'm holding the camera. because it's so steep on this bit here I'm not going to do the video in going around here because it's very um, bendy I need both brakes so um, I'm just going to show you the Brent Knoll again the Somerset levels all the way over there which I should be going over I should be going on them and coming back on them and you'll see a lot of Brent Knoll on this cycle so this is me leaving Bleeden now going down a very windy, bendy, steep 
lane, but people do come up it. Um, so we've got to be careful. Over and out for now.